far as cheesy intros go, um, going to notch that one up there. Actually, you know what? We'll put it through a vote. Those of you out there, let us know which one has the corniest intro of all of our reviews we've done up to this point. I still will never forget that. <laughs> that was horrible. Real Steel, and yes, this one's done a year ago. We did review it a year ago, but someone has deleted it. It, it got lost. Yeah. So, story? Story, it's, it's like into the future. Instead of us watching uh, sports, like boxing, with, like boxing, well, especially boxing, right? Slash MMA, right? No. Right? And instead of watching that with real people doing it, people have got bored with that and it's just not as good. And so what they're doing now is they're boxing with robots. This guy, the main guy in the story, he's an old wash-up boxer. Yep. Who got into this other boxing because he still loves boxing, into robot boxing. And he's just a, he's a real piece of work. Uh, Hugh Jackman does an amazing job here because it's, you see how run down and how uh, kind of beat up he is from being a real boxer and yeah. kind of being thrown into the new technological advancement of boxing. Yeah. It'd be pretty much the same thing if your grandparents, for instance, were thrown into working at what they used to do now. That's exactly what's going on with Hugh Jackman. You can see it in him. He's an amazing actor, so I mean, obviously you're going to see that. I mean, as someone watching the movie, you really get into that feel, right? When he's becoming passionate, you're getting fired up. And that's what the one thing I loved about Real Steel. You know, the whole time, you know, it was an emotional enough movie. It wasn't too kiddish. You know, you could go in there as an adult. No, you could go with kids, though. I yeah, mean, it yeah. wasn't a horrible movie that way. But I felt like, as an adult, I felt really drawn in in this movie. And I really wanted to just, like, punch the guy in front of me. Not because I hated the movie, but because I was so drawn in, and I, was, I really wanted to get in those fights. Like, and and you really get like the training montage, the like Rocky feel going on the entire time. Yeah, you could almost play that I Have the Tiger song as he's training. Yeah, you can't replicate Rocky. No, it's, no, you can't. it's done. It's set in stone. It's marble. But this does a really good job at showcasing a higher technological version of Rocky. Technological. That's the word of the day because it truly is for this movie. T E C H. Nodulical N-O-L Logic L-O-G-I-C <laughs> Logical Technological Technological I probably butchered it But anyways, that's the word of the day And why is it the word of the day? Because most people probably don't know how to spell it <laughs> And now you will know Because it's going to be on the bottom of the screen Alright Well, you wonder why you were breakdancing Because in the movie When the boy turns it on to shadow mode What is he doing? How does break he dancing. introduce He does break dance. He yeah. breaks down He's like The kid's cool And he does all this funky exactly. stuff And the robot copies him So, action in this movie we touched whoa, on whoa. Whoa, what? what about Evangeline Lilly? You want to talk about her? She's a Canadian girl And she's in the movie You make a good point We have to do a shout out She's Canadian she What do you think? I thought she did a good job, right? She doesn't overpower the movie, right? Though there's, there's a bit of a love interest there, it's not some no. cheesy line. Even at the end, it's not cheesy, right? Where, you know, you can go to Transformers 3, for example, you know, you know. I love you. <laughs> and you're just like, they oh, I'll, it I'll never movie. let you go, right? Whereas this movie, it's like, it's just the right amount of romance for the type of movie it is, right? All right, we're rating this one. We are. Like, the acting was good. The storyline was good. The technology was good. Um, so I'm going to say... You know, I'm just gonna say a five. I thought, so nice. I thought it was that good. I am nice. Giving this one a five as well. Believe it or not. So it's ten out of ten rock'em sock'ems on to the next review.